Today we're gonna talk about the best add-ons from Polygonic. Add-ons for making green forests, creating materials, productivity and efficiency, liquid simulations and assets, in addition to other stuff. But before we continue, I want to remind you guys that we are going through the Black Friday to Cyber Monday sale. So this is a great opportunity to get yourself some of the best add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Especially on the Blender market, because they are having a big discount of up to 30%, and other developers even more than that. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the top Blender add-ons and courses that you will ever need. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. We're gonna start with Internic, an add-on that makes building interior scenes inside the Blender ridiculously easy and simple. The add-on offers a massive optimized library of 800 assets from kitchens to bedrooms and bathrooms to light fixtures, decor, in addition to other stuff. From what I can see, it is super organized with tags and categories to help you find exactly what you need. But this add-on isn't just a library, because it comes with a couple of features that can make this entire process easier, like the ability to align objects to the floor, tweak their colors with the colorize tool, and even make assets fully editable so that you can adjust and edit them however you would like. Now, what I really like about the assets is the ready-made assets, which are basically a collection of already arranged assets like a whole dining table, and this one is my favorite because all I have to do is drag and drop it into my scene, and I won't have to worry about moving every little asset into place. So if you are into interior design or interior rendering, I think this tool is gonna be massively helpful. Now let's dive into something that will save your sanity with Memsaver or Memory Saver. So if you ever had Blender crash on you or stop responding altogether because your scene is too heavy or something like that, then this add-on is definitely something that you want to look into. Memsaver is all about making your scenes lighter without compromising quality. And you will discover that after you try it. And it does so by optimizing a couple of things in your scene. I mean those things that can eat up your memory without knowing about it. For example, if you have a massive texture that is taking up way too much memory, it will downscale it for you. And if you have detailed models just chilling in the background and no one is gonna even notice them, Memsaver can decimate them for you. And what's really interesting about the add-on is how you are in full control of the whole process, because you can choose exactly what gets optimized, like textures, objects, or cloth. And if you're like me and happen to mess up some things, then there is a reset button that will reverse everything back to its original state. Now, this tool is especially useful if you work with big and detailed environment scenes that seem to test your machine's capabilities. So the gist of it is that if you don't like Blender freezing mid-project, consider getting Mapsaver and take advantage of this Black Friday sale. The developers of Memsaver also have an add-on called Aquatic. Honestly, working with water in Blender can be a pain. Baking and simulating the whole thing, getting the ripples, reflections and transparency just right can take forever. Which is not ideal if you are looking for a quick and easy water body in your scene. And that's where Aquatic steps in and saves the day, because this add-on is basically a preloaded water toolkit containing all sorts of water elements that you can drag and drop to make your peaceful lake, or maybe a Russian river, or a decorative fountain. So just drop it in your scene and tweak it to your liking to get something interesting. The good thing is how customizable it is, because it allows you to adjust everything from wave intensity to the way light reflects off the surface. But this is not everything. This add-on also packs a couple of useful generators, so you can easily make rain, rivers, and even puddles, which is something pretty cool to have. The add-on also comes with a shader called Waterial, which is an advanced material for creating procedurally animated water with low memory requirements. And now it is time to hit the road with Traffic 2.0. And this one is an add-on that makes adding vehicles and creating roads in Blender way too easy compared to vanilla Blender. Let's be honest now. Finding decent car models can be a pain sometimes. Either they are too high poly or too low poly or something that you don't like. 
but traffic can change that because it offers a solid collection of cars which are both detailed and performance friendly. But what really makes this tool shine is the fact that these aren't just static props. You can animate them since they are fully rigged and ready to be used on any type of road and doing any type of movement a car could actually do in real life. But it gets even better because traffic lets you control their movement and speed and even customize their appearance by playing around with their procedural textures. Now, let's take a look at the flagship add-on of Polygonic, which is called Botanic. Botanic is a library of over 700 plus highly optimized vegetation assets, in addition to trees ranging from coniferous to tropical biomes, each with seasonal variations like snow-covered pines or vibrant spring blooms. But the add-on doesn't stop there. Grass, shrubs, flowers, vines, mushrooms, rocks, and even corals are included within the botanic library, making it, I think, a solid choice for anyone who needs vegetation from concept art to architectural visualization. And I believe this add-on is the top add-on for vegetation right now. The interesting thing is that Botanic teams up with Engon, which is an add-on from the same developers, which can make the process of asset management and placement much easier. This enables you to snap your trees to the ground really easily, as well as scattering plants organically with random scale and rotation or use weight painting to precisely place foliage. And guess what? If you need animations, then Botanic has some amazing looping wind effects, customizable for speed and strength so that you can easily add life to your natural elements. Plus, you can even tweak assets in real time and change leaf colors, brightness, or seasons on the fly. Not less important than Botanic, we have another important add-on called Materialic, which is honestly a lifesaver when it comes to texturing within Blender. So if you've ever struggled to make materials look just right, or spent forever playing around with random nodes, then this one is gonna be for you. The first thing to notice with the add-on is the variety that it offers, since it covers wood, concrete, metals, fabrics, and all different sorts of things. And the best part is that you won't have to set anything up. Simply drag and drop it straight from Vendor's Asset Browser into your model, and you are done. And whether you are working with Eevee or Cycles, it's gonna do fine on both engines, because the materials are optimized for both engines. And when it comes to rendering, there is an add-on for Polygon called Render Set. So if you ever struggled with organizing multiple scenes, cameras, and lighting setups, this tool can be for you. And from what I can see, handling different contacts becomes really easier, allowing you, according to developers, to save up to a thousand unique render setups, each with its unique camera, lighting, and render settings. And it works well if you are reusing viewport views or setting up custom shots. But the real game changer is the batch rendering tool, which is pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is line up your renders, hit start, and let it render through your list while you just sit and relax, or do something else. But what really takes it up a notch is the option to render separate passes, so you can break down your scene by color, direct or indirect lighting, depth, normals, and more. This gives you an extra layer of control for post-processing without feeling like you are micromanaging every step of the way. So generally speaking, render set is simpler, effective, and it can be a massive time saver. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.